Anyway, that's enough about uh, university and all that sort of stuff. Let's play Surviving Mars. Where did we get up to with Womb Base? I don't remember because it was actually, it was, it was New Year's Eve when we played this last. It's now the 12th of January. So I'm a bit behind. Also, I've just realized I didn't upload the VODs onto YouTube from Saturday. So I have to do that at some point. By the way, Saturday's stream was really enjoyable. I really enjoyed Betrayal at the House on the Hill. I, re I really enjoyed that. Um, okay, so. Now I need to see if I can remember what I'm doing. There's a thing. What? Wait, what, what does this mean? This building has malfunctioned. Drone can repair it. Okay, sector scanned. Failed milestones. Oh god, everything's break! No! Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is because... This is because they're all ahead of us, which is fine. I'm not really that bothered about this. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll ever beat the other colonies because I'm going at such a slow pace. I'm trying to learn the game. Okay, so it looks like our water extractor has malfunctioned already. And we need, we need, um, we need to, let's just pause, pause the game for a second. I need to bring, there is a unit, a machine, machine parts up to here so that the drones will fix. Everything breaks, sounds normal, yeah. Now this is a drone hub, so we've got a drone hub, so will these produce Drones? I don't know if these produce drones. I for I forget. Drone load is low. So we've only got three drones attached. So I think later on with tech, yes. I think we should add some more drones to this base here. Because this command center is gonna be used to obviously build our domes which are happening over here and I'm a little bit worried about building the domes in the ice but screw it we'll 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 do it and we'll figure out what works um what drones do we have see we've actually got quite a lot of drones assigned to the uh, RC seeker all right now what what is this bringing this has polymers, so this is bringing polymers over. So this, we need to... Can I... How do I look at what its supply... Q task zero. Uh, unload resources. No. Create a... So we want to load resources from over here which it looks like it's already doing. So how do I edit this? Cause there's surely a way of being edit, being able to edit the, the transport route that I've already got set up. Cause whoops, did I delete it? Might have. Yeah, on transport route. So how do I edit this? May have bought this after your last played a good chunk yesterday. I haven't played it since um Yeah, I, I haven't I haven't played it since all right, let's have a look at this. Uh let's see. Yeah, I, I haven't played this since New Year's, so I'm a little bit like okay. Uh transport rovers can extract resources from surface uh from surface de deposits. Uh, metals and polymers, allowing extraction and transportation to faraway deposit sites. The apex of human transport technology, rovers are incredibly durable, making them resist the motion of Martian um, calamites such as cold or dust. Age of Empires 4, mostly now. Uh, yesterday, mastered, mastered the French, nice. Do you know what? I would love to play Age of Empires 4, but I, I have a huge, huge fear wait is that full this it is full okay so we should build another dumping site All right uh 
or we could just put a, another dumping site right there because then all of this waste rock will actually get moved. Is this finished as well? Concrete extractor. I think the concrete extractor has actually... Yeah, the ruins of an abandoned building can be cleared for resources or rebuilt. So we could rebuild it. We cannot clear. We need uh, engineering tech for that. Okay, so it might we might need another concrete building. Maybe one over here. And we can put that on a supply route or something. Or maybe we just move these. Or actually, maybe we do need to just move all of this. All of this needs to be moved, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. A fear for what? Like, a fear for... Uh, a fear of getting so overwhelmed and then just being... Just playing Age of Empires forever. I don't want to I don't want to do that. Okay, so we we don't have we've got the metal deposits. I know we can build these when we've got humans on Mars. We don't have humans on yet, but do we actually have any machine parts? We've got 28 machine parts. So, I want to make sure that this is carrying the machine parts first, which I'm not so sure it is. Played this a bit. It's really cool. Yeah. Do you want some tips or looking to discover for yourself stuff? Tips. I, I think with this sort of a game, tips is probably exactly what I need. Um. Yeah, I because I'm not smart enough to be able to figure this out, I don't think. Um. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I'm quite smart enough to be able to figure out out what's going on. Oh, we also need to add Q to sensors. So let's pick the ones that we will be able to sensificate first. Oh, that's being done now. So we might need a new sensor tower somewhere being put up that is accessible to power. Where's that one there? Don't build too compact, uh, especially around compactor. Yes, I well, I figured this out here, look, right? So, so you see all of this, all of these things, that they all have dust on. And uh, I didn't realize that that was going to be the case. But I mean, this extractor now is, is, is finished. So we'll probably do an extractor over here and then just um, bring things to a central loading area somewhere. Yeah, I figured that I figured that too late uh, with this thing, like because I was really trying to like build compact because I thought, oh yeah, let's just ma maximize space. So we do have a water extractor here, but that needs to be. Yeah, you see, there's. See, the only thing that we've got at the moment is this transportation rover uh, to transport all of our materials. See, th th this was one of the reasons why I was a little bit... Wait, that dotted grey line is a dusty area, but cool, I made that mistake too. Yeah, the... Yeah, I... That's the dust area, right? Yeah, I... I mean, like I said, I put this down and then I put this down because I wanted everything to be really close so that the drones could function. But then I realized that actually there's quite a big area on these drones. But even so, even with the like super large area of the drones, they're still not doing what I want them to do. So I I don't know. I think I, I've got quite a lot of drones, but the problem, the bottleneck that I've got at the moment is this transport thing. And I don't think I can build another one of these, can I? Oh, but I, can, I think I can s return this back to Earth now. Yeah, we can return that back to Earth. At least I think we can return it back to Earth. There we go. So that will also pick up, that will also send out dust, right? 
from the launch, and I think this is in the in the way of getting hit by the dust when that launches. In fact, I can see the maintenance is going up, current deterioration. <sighs> but again, we've just got like loads of drones and nothing for the drones to do because I'm waiting on bringing the resources up to where the new, where the domes are gonna be, and even then, like. That's the radius of the these drones, and I'm worried that whatever I do is going to be outside of the drone's radius. I don't know. Uh. See, the issue that I've always, always had with these sort of games is that you get to a point, and then you lose focus on what you need to be doing. And because I haven't played the game for a couple of uh, days um, actually a week or so I've kind of lost focus on what I'm supposed to be doing research complete I see control Drone controller. Good investment. Yeah, for making spheres, etc. Yeah, people are essential, but I don't have anywhere for the people to live, so they will just die. <laughs> don't want to don't wanna kill people, so. Right, I think this is where we need to... We I think we need to build a dome first, right? So let's... Dome... Let's have a look at domes. So let's just have it... Let's just get the basic... Dome? See, this is all cold terrain. So I don't think this is a good idea to put the dome there now. Even though there's a vista, I think maybe we move the dome down here. Where it's like in between in between the water extractor, the um, the moxie. Because we, we've got the water extractor here with water. I'm really worried that the piping's going to get frozen over. Yeah, maybe we put the dome here. Because I wanted to put it on the vista. Because someone last time was saying, oh, you should put the dome in the vista. But now, I think I shouldn't. There's a thing to warm ground. Yeah, but I'm not there yet, though, am I, Garrick? That's the thing. So I, I think we should put the dome here here right or maybe I don't know whether I want to put it near I, I don't know I generally don't know don't know where would be the best see ugh, I hate I hate this sort of a thing like these decisions because I know it's going to impact something later on down the line and I don't know what it's going to what I'm going to have to deal with because if i put it like here i'm not going to be able to use that water deposit right so wait the blue line is the dome's influence so stuff outside the blue will get people outside wait so stuff inside of the blue will get people working on them yeah i know i'm i'm I, I figured that out. So so basically I need to decide what I want the first dome to be doing. So so what is our priority? What what is the priority for the domes? Right? What what is our next we, we need a living quarter and we need food right if we're gonna if we're gonna have people on Mars we need living quarters and food so that that there's the living quarters residential space is plus four. Plus 14. We've got nurseries, playgrounds. I don't think any of this is going to... Research lab. 
that could be useful because then that means that we'll get research and that is something that we need to get better tech so i think living quarter and research lab is probably a priority um I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I, it's already so much stuff. Um, I'm trying to look for like farms or something. Casino, art, grocer. I don't. This is, this is just shopping. We 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 need. Well, I need some sort of like farming. Surely. A ranch maybe. Produces food. Consumes oxygen. Water depending on animal type so we need animals for that maybe it's just farm then dome farms will be in life support so is that this no that needs to go inside the dome so what do we need in this first dome sector scanned sector scanned okay So, so, so we'll use a basic dome because I, I don't want to go too big. We're going to need living quarters, a research lab, food generation, right? Am I right? Now, we've got research over here, which is why I wanted to move things over this way. And we haven't found any other research. Well, there's, uh, there's also research here. But the issue with this is that it's in the cold. Right, so let's... Too far from a working drone commander. That's just irritating. Move this closer. They have different amounts and also stack if you can get two or more. Wait, dome farms will be in life support. Uh, they have different amounts and will stack if you get two or more. Um, I don't know what that what stack you what you mean by stack. So so if I say have this here, we've got inside it in in inside that area we've got two research areas. And a vista. Even though it's on cold terrain, that might be the best place, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to lock that in because we've got two research bonuses in that area. Um, we do have a concrete deposit, but I don't think we will mine that. We'll get our concrete from elsewhere. We've got underground water, which we might be able to do because I don't think underground... I don't think water extractors kick up dust so we've got plenty of water we've got water there we've got water here and we can pipe that in um we've got research we've got a we've only got one vista and we've got another vista here so i think this is going to be our primary thing so we need to make sure that these deposits here are within the drones whatever and we need metals polymers and concrete so if we move that i'm kind of hoping Stop there. Kind of hoping that that will have enough area from here to here and it, we should be able to do this. You can connect domes up too. Good point. Okay. Um, I, I, I was going to ask if I could do that as well. I was going to see if I could like have a dome over here and then connect them up and then w will then both domes share these vistas? So maybe we can have like a living quarters dome over here and maybe like a workstation dome there and then maybe like a metal because it also says that we've got underground metals there, which I would like. Let's be honest, I would like metal extractors because that's going to be more efficient, right? So we've got metals here too. I don't think the bonuses share. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, also, destroy and rebuild later, which might be a good idea depending on uh, what you do. Yeah, I'm. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment is like this... Building, destroying, building kind of thing. Um, right. I keep... I, I do not like this zoom function. This is... It's not fun. Um, right. So this should... They should be building. Why are they not building? 
Cannot find the required resources. There's concrete, like here, right here. 61 concrete. Do I need more concrete? Is that is that what they're asking me for? They might be asking for more concrete then. Click the ass to see its range. Well, its range, like, that's its range, right? So it should be able to... So it can reach the resources. Might need the center of the dome. Oh, that's just irritating, dude. Okay, that's fine. Can use the transport to drop things off next to it. Yeah, that, yeah, but I think what I might do is I might have, because I've got a drone controller here. So can I tell these drones to pick up this and put it over here? Uh, so let's build, just put a... Let's put a depot. Actually, let's put a universal depot. We'll just have that over here real quick. And I can get rid of that. And can I tell what I want in this? Desired amount. So let's turn all of this off. Just real quick before they start sending stuff out. Desired amount. Uh, so I want... I do want concrete, but that's only going to give me 30 concrete there. All right, so I want concrete. So that's going to take concrete over here. Then that means that these drones will be able to use the concrete onto this, I think. Yeah, okay, so it, it's, it's working. I could do it manually as well, yes. What is this doing? Oh, I see. It's got polymers there. We've got polymers, polymers, and then we've got metals as well. Okay, so they should, should be taking the correct things to the right places. Why has this not been fixed yet? Because we've got... Oh, let's deliver that there real quick. And I want this, because this just needs... Oh, the building is frozen. Ugh. I don't know what... Well, I mean, the water tanks are full for the time being. I could just build another one here, I guess. Uh, subsurface heater, it said. I don't know if we've got that. I don't think we've got that, have we? Oh, subsurface heater. Yeah, so um, where is that locked? I don't. Terraforming. Water reclamation, biotech, low energy. Um, don't know where this might be. Subsurface heater. Let's bump that up. Let's bump that up. Physics. Thank you. Right, we'll bump that up. We've got explorers. I don't know what that means. Wait, the other side of the sun. Your attention is required. While sifting through the red dust, our drones discovered the remains of an old concrete bunker. The treasure inside... 
is a folder of old documents. The ink has almost completely vanished, but the extra effort and creativity you managed to press through. In the dis distant 1973, an isolated country made a secret landing on Mars in preparation for further colonization of the entire solar system. Led personally by the great leader himself, the tireless engineers created many wonders of architecture and creativity. This deed was made possible only by the eternal wisdom and guidance of the great leader. Right, so we get 10 restart recharge station prefabs. Uh, we could have four water towers and four oxygen prefabs, which might actually not be a bad idea. Or gain four statues. I've got five billion in the bank. I do at the moment, yes. Which one? Which, which one should we go for? I, I'm thinking that water towers and oxygen tanks might not be a bad idea. Because I'm very paranoid about killing people, and I don't want to kill people. <laughs> also, question. If I send a passenger ship after we've set up the domes and stuff, how am I getting the passengers to and from the landing site to the dome? One is most valuable. Restart recharge station reveals text in robotics so the you think the re recharge station is better they can eva a short distance but the landing site is not is not a short distance away <laughs> do i have to change where the landing site is maybe unless unless i just land it i could i can change where i land it right can do a dirt landing yeah rockets can do dirt landings okay kicks up loads of dust i know it kicks up that that's what i was trying to avoid though garrick <laughs> It's either that or I just build another landing pad closer to the dome. Maybe. Right. Um. Anyway, back to the original problem. I... Th See, I think a water tower and oxygen tanks is going to be useful for me. I'm not quite sure what the recharge stations do yet. So I think I'm going to go with water towers and oxygen tanks because I understand what that is. So that that's what I'm going to go for. I, that might have been the wrong choice. So now we've got prefabs, right? So that means that we can build more of these. Uh, yes. Right, oxygen tanks. Let's build some more oxygen tanks. Whoops. Probably the right one for this situation. Well, I mean, if... Like, the, there is something else that I could have done. Um, I'm sure I'll figure it out, right? Like, I I don't anticipate me being 100% perfect in the first run. Okay? I, I'm fully aware I'm going to mess something up at some point. But, um... That's okay. Right, we'll put those down first and then I'll figure out where the connection pipes need to be. I'm a little bit worried by this central one. I don't know if there's space for that for the pipe actually. Two was. Okay. Yeah, I think I might have messed up with this one because I just realized the pipes have to go next to Wait, no, let's um, delete that real quick before that one. Because the, these are being built, so I've got access around the rear. Oh, no, it's it's to the side? Oh, yeah, I'm, I think I really did mess up with this one then, didn't I? Can I just do that real quick before it's fully built and get the prefab back? Yes. Yes, I see. Yeah, the the link was on the wrong in the wrong place. Yes. That's okay. This this is okay. This, I mean, this is what learning is about, right? So I'm I'm never going to be able to 
I, 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 it's, it's not going to be perfect. Whoops. I might have not done the most efficient pipe usage there, but again, we can always delete. Okay, what about this? Because I feel like I messed this up as well. Let's have a look at the pipes. Oh, no, no, no. We, we've got round access to the pipes here. So this is okay. Looks really messy, but I don't care. And this is frozen. So I am actually going to put Sector another water. Scanned. Ah, I see. So it doesn't have to be directly on top. I get it. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Okay, okay. So it really doesn't have to be like directly on top. Okay. So if we do that there, that should pull from this water, underground water, right? Gray is the dust, blue is the resource resource node. Okay, so the, that does have dust then. Okay, I didn't realize. Oh well, the, the dust is outside of the range of like the towers, so I think we're okay. And again, like Discount said, I can always delete things later. Everything is so dusty! Uh, then I also need power going to that as well, I think. I've still got an extra oxygen tank too. Might as well put it there, I think, because I won't need piping. Won't need additional piping nodes, I don't think, if I put that there. Okay, we also need... we need wiring. See, I'm still I'm still learning the game, right? So, so you will just have to bear with me. And I, I realize it's not going to be the most efficient thing in the world. I'm literally making it up as I go along. <laughs> I think I have to wait until that's built. Also, how is this doing? So this is m still missing concrete. Um, so concrete still isn't... It's not being offloaded there. We've got polymers that are now going in. Give a mine to redundancy. What if this pipe breaks here? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Working on it. Bear with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tw 26 out of 8, eight 80 concrete. And we've got, like, all the concretes down here. This is the problem. I need faster... Well, I guess I can delete that now. And I can delete this. And I can salvage this. I don't know if I get any resources back, but it just gets rid of the clutter that we've kind of got. What are you doing? He's carrying fuel. Oh, yeah, of course. What is that? That's a power accumulator. I forgot about that as well. So I think this area down here is actually just going to become our power farm area because it's clear of a lot of things.
The depots cost you nothing to build. What depots? Oh, the universal depots. These. I see, I see, I see, I see. Sorry. Storage platforms. Yeah. I didn't know. I, I just presumed they was called storage. Okay, so we do need power to go to that. So let's... Did I not build the power line? I mean, evidently, I didn't build that. So yeah, we've got loads of tanks now. That tank I decided to delete because reasons. And we've also got oxygen, which is being produced by the Moxie. Is it though? Because it doesn't, it isn't, is it, it's not connected to water, is it? Is it? Do I need water for this? No production during dust storms. Oxygen produ production. It does. It does need to be connected to water. Okay, so I need to connect it up to this piping over here. So is that not producing... But then the oxygen here is full. Pipes carry both water and air. Okay, so the same pipes. Okay, got you. Oh, magnetic filtering. Our oxygen production is at three. Production per soul is 72. Lifetime production is 900. Stored oxygen, power, and it's about to break down. It will produce O2 from the atmosphere, but you'll need a pipe to pipe both water and O2 into your domes. So, makes sense to link them. Okay, I see. So, it comes from the atmosphere. What is this one? There was, there was an attention somewhere. Collecting minimum water flow will start supplying the grid at 5. Water production is three. I'm I'm not understanding how the water system works. I don't I don't I'm not getting this at all. So why is the water production three? Production per soul is twelve. So what, we need more water? Does that mean I need another plant somewhere else or can I just put like multiple plants from this underground water but then the water grade is very low so I need more water basically Oops. there's no water demand yeah but there will be when I have the dome running so we've got this water tower here so we've got a moisture we've got a moisture evaporator so maybe we need to connect that up to the to the network as well so this power line can be also a pipeline so if we have everything connected that's just gonna make sense can I have that over the same pipe? And then I'm going to have to move the drones around to get all of this made again. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> it was the... <laughs> I, I, think, I think that was the wrong one. Sorry, sorry, Garrick. <laughs> I think you got accidentally banned. Sorry, Medid. You should be alright. <laughs> yeah, 
It happens. That's happened to me before when someone's accidentally banned me. <laughs> Freaking bots. I get to name, name the dome now. Yeah, you can name the dome. <laughs> okay, so th th this is more water. So that, again, is only one unit of water production. So what will this n require? What does a basic dome require? Because th this is something that's really puzzling me, is the fact that there doesn't seem to be... Consumption is just one. Oh, okay. So this is this is this is going to be enough for this dome then, and one oxygen. What is this producing? This is producing three oxygen. So it, it's actually okay. It's okay. I didn't need to connect everything up, but I am going to connect everything up regardless because I think that's important. Um, I think I'll also. Oh, but this is in the cold. So will the pipes freeze over when they're in the cold? Do the pipes freeze? I'm not sure. Buildings inside add additional demand. I figured that, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I need to wait until this is finished anyway, because I'm not... Why are they doing nothing? Right, you know what? You guys go... Go, go over scanned. there and build this. So it's very, this is very frustrating, the fact that the drones just don't build what I want them to build. Like, just fucking build the shit. Like, why do I have to micromanage this? Like, why do I have to mic- that, it, it really annoys me that I have to micromanage the building here. This game has nice music. It absolutely does, RG. I completely agree. Wait, so, drone heavy load, transportation problem. Drone heavy load. Drones load heavy. I don't know what that means. Drones load heavy. The six drones. I don't know what that. <laughs> don't know what that means. <laughs> Tech will help you out later on. It's too much work. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. So if I put this here, then the the drones that are assigned to this RC seeker will be able to do more work. I need more drones. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Is that better? You happy now? Now that we've got more drones? You happy? No? I, I... It's buy more drones. Easiest way to fix is to buy more drones. Yeah, but the thing is, I've got all these drones over here that are sat doing nothing and they won't trans- I can't seem to transfer them. Maybe I can. Maybe I can just like say, all of these drones, now go and live over here. That it, See, that, does, that doesn't work. I don't understand. <laughs> you can with the button. I don't. Also, like, again, this has a mechanical thing? This needs maintenance. With two metal? It needs two metal. Well, there's... It's the, are you telling me I've got no metal down at this deposit? I've got no metal down here. <sighs> I don't... I, I, I'm starting to get annoyed because a lot is starting to happen and I can't... I am right-clicking. I'm right-clicking and this thing keeps popping up. I don't want... Like, so, so if I select all the drones, can I right-click them? Recharge self. So, so now the drones are all over here. But now I need to get all of this shit built to hook up the pipes. Are the drones just going to migrate out? Oh, they are migrating over. Okay, we've got loads of drones on the way up there now. Okay, well may maybe we keep a few drones down on this this area down here. We'll, we'll keep those drones down here because when we've got a new ship coming in, they can unload stuff. Um, but I need I need metals. I need I need a source of metals down here so that we can r repair the moisture evaporator.
Hope they don't run out of power halfway. They run out of... Of course they run out of power. Yeah, they're absolutely going to run out of power halfway. Oh, so some of them might. But can I not... No. No, no, no. I, I want to select the drones that are attached to you. Why... <clears throat> How do I select your drones? I want to select all of your drones. Drones, select. Select the drones. Select total number of drones on this rover. Put them all in there. I want all of the drones, all of these drones, to go in there. You get assigned to this one. Get assigned to this. Why do I have to do this manually? Why is there not a simpler way of doing this? I'm so, ugh. Fucking paradox games. That why, why are they always so complicated? Needlessly complicated. See the drone with the button on the right, right? The drone with the button on the right. The drone with the button on the right. No, I do not see that. I do not see a drone with the button on the right. I'm starting to get aggrav aggravated because there's so many different things. Okay, so there's no drones attached to this now. So let's move this down here. Um, and I want to make sure that the drones that are moving... I think that what so that one's run out of battery, so this can now come and pick up this drone, right? Icons top right will help you. These icons? Cycle through drone controllers. I don't want to damage drones. Oh, but I can't. It won't. It won't. I can't. Ugh. Dude, like, I'm not going to. I'm not going to lie. This is actually really annoying me. Like, I, I, it, this is not intuitive controls. Move, interact, give command to move or repair. Right, okay. So I want to select target mode on target or move or interact. So you should... Transfer power to this. When clicked on the RC commander is an option ghosted now to pack drones or transfer. Unpack drones. Pack drones for reassignment. So you, can you not... Why will you not... Drone batteries... The batteries in the drones are depleted. Yes, I know. It can be recharged by other drones or rescued by the RC commander, which is what I've got. I've brought it out and it's not rescuing it. Consider constructing recharge stations. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, no, it worked. Okay, so it, it did it did get rescued. So now are you commanded by the drone hub. So you now need to go and rescue. What is this? What is this? What is that doing? What is this doing? Going to RC Seeker 1. Why? Commanded by the drone hub. I don't understand why that was moving out there, but okay. So now we've got like a bunch of drones around here, which is better. But this isn't going to get built because it's outside of the drone commander range, which means we need a new drone commander range. <sighs> sake. But I need this RC Seeker all the way down here to be building the materials for the piping. So what do we need? We need metals for the pipe. Which we don't have because we don't have any way of collecting metals. And we've got a limited supply of metals, so I don't want to use up all of those. So we need to get more metals. How do I get more metals? I need... Underground metals for a metals extractor, which I can't use because of colonists. Okay. <sighs> I don't. I don't know what. I don't know how to get metals. I can't remember how to get metals. There was definitely a way of getting metals. Transfer commander can harvest surface material deposits as well. Which one was that one? RC transport? Was that this? So this will harvest. So how do I know where it can harvest 
materials. What, are these metals? I don't, I don't know what. I'm very quickly realizing I am way out of my comfort zone right now. I have no idea what's going on. Shiny rocks on the surface, like these. That that's a bit shiny, but I can't click on it. I can't click on that, so I don't think that's right. Is it this? Maybe I can't. Oh, I can. I can click on that. Okay, oh, I see. Okay, so it's these sort of things. Oh, okay. So that's what we need to be collecting. Oh God, there's like none. Though, what is this? What's this out of here? Can that harvest? This is the RC Explorer. Can that harvest? I don't think this can harvest, can it? Oh, that that does the anomalies. I remember. I remember what that was doing. That was going around and scanning things. Okay, so I need to get the transport. The transport is what what was what was the transport doing? So that was loading resources. So we don't need that to do this now. So we need this to create a transport route, if I remember, and load these resources, just the metals, and we want to unload them here. So that we can create some more metals. But then I also need metals along this path constantly. And we need metals down here. So basically what I'm discovering is I need multiple of these RC transports. I need more of them. I don't have enough. How do I make those? I bet I can't. I bet I can't make them, can I? It doesn't look like I can. Yes. No, I don't think I can. I don't see anything. Okay. Set root thing can be helpful to grab an area at a time. The RC can harvest with drones if you set up deposit four drones to drop minerals into you. You'll then have to transfer the materials later somehow. So this asks, you're saying that this seeker here, so we need eight drones and then this can go and collect resources. So we need eight because now all my drones are just like not doing anything again. So we've got four. We'll pick up another four. There we go. Drone load is now low. Okay, so now this should be able to pick up recall drones. Alright. Twenty months, Janus. So now I want this to pick up materials. But I don't think, I don't think I can do that, can I? Some metals over there. Janice, how are you? I'm getting very stressed by this game, actually. This, uh, I regret having such a big break from it. I felt like when I did this on New Year's, I was really understanding. I was really understanding what was going on. And now Anomaly I'm not. Analyzed. You have grumpy face. I feel the stress. Yeah, I I I feel like what when I was when I played this the first time. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. 
a veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Yeah, I felt like last time when I played it, I, I was really understanding it and I was getting the grasp of it and I was really, like, focused in on it and I knew what the objectives were. And now for the last, like, hour, I've been trying to, like, figure out what I'm trying to do and I still have no idea. So, so that's... That's the grump face. That's why I've got a grump face. And I'm starting to get frustrated because nothing feels intuitive, whereas last time it did. And I feel like my mindset maybe is probably not in the right place. Um, so even the tiniest simple looking rock can contain the answers of mis mysteries which perplex the human mind for generations. Sometimes it takes just a simple discovery to assure us of the vastness of the universe, to encourage to make us look beyond the boundaries of our existence into the future. In fact, the following texts have been revealed. Automated storage, Earth Mars initiative, factory amplification. I mean, I, I haven't. Dozer Rover, I don't know what that means. Utility crops. Okay, close. Um, so we've, we've got more research things and a lot of the sensor tower boosts are not getting boosted now because they're like a million miles away so so the, these are all gonna take ages to do but we'll just kind of do this and then i might build like a actually what might not be a bad idea is we could put a center tower up here maybe too far from working drone commander as always like why <laughs> why why would it want to be anyway near a drone commander we'll put it there so that's outside the dust cloud I can easily connect this to the power. R right. And it's inside that drone commander. Just won't be get built. Yeah, I know. But the, the, this is the issue that I've got, like, throughout, is the fact that all of this isn't getting built because it's not in the drone commander, and I need it to be built. Because the drones are, like, a load of bullshit. Like, they don't, they don't seem to, I don't, I don't even know where you're going. I can't even remember where you're going. I think you were going here. I wanted you to harvest the, the metals, right? So I think what I'm going to do, I think the best way around this, because I'm really struggling with, seriously, where are the drones? Deploy drones. There we go. Right, so now, no, stop. <laughs> um, metals, and I want to put this. Uh, this is gonna, this is gonna be weird, but I want to put that there because then these drones will collect all of those metals and then put them there, and then we'll just move this drone controller over to here, so then it takes from here and then builds the pipes. But we need we need people to get metals fairly quickly. So we can't keep doing it with the drones. So this is also gathering metals. It's got electronics on it. Why do we have electronics on this thing? So this is the RC transport. So can I load this with drones as well? Or is this just... This isn't a drone device, is it? No. Okay. There are trade-offs. So like, now using the RC means you leave the transport free to do another job. Those drones will get stuff quicker, but still gonna need to bring transport out to pick up the metal. Yeah, I know, right? Like, this is the... This is... This is my... It's still... <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot I'm not quite getting. I'll, I'll be honest. There the really isn't. Like, I... The, there's a lot of stuff in this game at the moment that I'm really struggling to understand, I think. Um, so, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best at the moment, so I apologize. But, 
so we'll figure it out. The transport could harvest the metal on its own, but would be maybe slower overall. Yeah, 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 I, I got you, I got you, I got you. Well, at the moment, I've got two things harvesting. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I will use this seeker, like, once I've... Sector scanned. Yeah, I will use this seeker now. So, so if we recall all the drones, and then this seeker can go over here, I will use that seeker to, to get all the metals from these resources over here. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. But then I'm also going to need to use that seeker to build this piping. That, that this is the issue: is the fact that I, I need, I, I need drone. Um, what are these drone hubs? I need these drone hubs like all the way down, but they're expensive to build. So it's just going to take ages. Like <laughs> it's just going to take a long time. Oh, I, I don't know. See, now you can load from here just metals and you can unload. Well, I guess we could just like unload them down, down this section here, right? Maybe. Got to get a little one from school, no worries, my dude. It's got electronics, though. I just don't understand. Can I unload the resources? Unload all. There. Because I am now completely out of metals, aren't I? And all of my stored concrete is down here, and that's not getting transported up. And this doesn't have any water, because this thing's broken. <laughs> I'm wondering if I can bring in another cargo rocket like how much how much do we have we've got 5.2 billion i'm trying to think what like what do we need i'm thinking we need another one of these rc transports just like it we need another one of those in fact i'm gonna say we need two right i i, I think having two more of those is just gonna be way better and then maybe, maybe even like another one of these um, RC seekers as well. Yeah, I'll I'll have two of those, and then we will also. I'm trying to think what we're going to need the most of now. At the moment, we don't have any way really of collecting metals, so I guess we can ship in like ten units of metals or something like that. All right, let's launch that one. And then I'm going I'm going to do another RC commander. But it's the seeker which is better than the commander, right? Is it I don't know. <laughs> I think the Seeker is better. Uh, the Explorer, which we've already got one of. I don't. We don't need another one of those. We've got. A, we've got a transport. We've got. We, we've got two more of those coming. What's the Safari? Remote control vehicle that takes tourists on a safari. Configure a route with waypoints near interesting sites. So that's a tourist thing. Will that carry normal citizens, or is that? Can that be worked as, like, a bus? A shuttle bus? I 
feel like it's a waste bringing all of the metals. But at the moment, like, I'm really struggling with metals. Right, yeah, let's order a bunch of metals. I don't know how to get our funding up. This is what I'm worried about spending too much on stuff. Unless there's anything here that we could... Polymer factory. S small machine parts, machine parts. Uh, electronics factory, electronics factory. Another drone hub. We could get another drone hub, maybe. Moisture evaporator. Sterling generator is for power. Which I don't think we necessarily will need. Polymer factory. Small machine parts factory. I can't put any more metals on. Could get some more. F we could get take some. I mean, the colonists arrive with food, but they need. S Maybe we get some seeds. Seeds are used for planting a vegetation on Mars. I can't take any seeds with me. Right, let's send that. Let's launch that. I think having those prefab buildings are going to be important because that means that we can make machining and electronics in the dome. On, like, small quantities. We won't have a polymer factory. Produces polymers from water and fuel. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, let's launch that. So there we go. We've, we've got two rockets on the way. Uh, with, like, 50 metals over the over the lot and I think hopefully we'll figure out what's going on um, and hopefully that will help us construct this a little bit better because technically this is outside of the drone commander range alright let's uh, time warp a little bit alright deploy the drones and we just want metals deposit right there. That should. Do that, right? Research complete. Research complete. So, okay, so we've got that um, heating thing, decommission protocol. I am going to click that one. Sustainable architecture. Yeah, we'll have that at some point as well. Um, so can we now build that heating thing? I don't know where it will be. A sub... Okay, we need a, uh, a heater there. And hopefully that should make this work again, the water extractor. What do we need for that? We just need met metals and machine parts, and we're out of metals. You gonna go lurk, Janice? Okie doke. Enjoy your lurks. Anomaly analyzed.
Oh, there's waste rock as well. That was that's actually important, isn't it? We need to put waste rock somewhere. Let's put it out of the way. Large dumping site will just do that like I don't know, so, so, somewhere over here, right? Cuz I think Yeah, we'll, we'll put it there. And like cuz I think everything is creating like all this waste and we need it Right, so that's now functioning. So... Is this now going to... Service area. We can turn up the service area if we wanted to. Greatly increase the water production. But I can do the, a bigger surface area. Or we could just like... Just make it nice and small just for the time being. Just so that it covers this water extractor. Okay. Defrosting. This building will need repair after it is defrosted. Okay. So my question is... Will this work? So if I turn this off, will that refreeze again? Will this area freeze back over? I would imagine it. It yeah, it, it is. It is. I can see it is. Okay, I, I could see it change in color there. I, I imagine that that was going to be the case, but I wasn't sure. So that does mean that we could effectively like do that. But then obviously that's going to consume, number one, more power, number two, more water. But it will mean that, like, this whole area will thaw out. Which means I can build here. So we could have a second dome, like, right in this area, like, outside of the cold. In fact, actually, now I think about it, I need... Another one of these, don't I? Like there, maybe? But again, we need more metals, which we currently do not have. Right, what is this doing? Create transport route. Load resources from... Transport route, load resources, metals, there. I'm kind of hoping it's just going to pick these up. Okay, so that that that's looking okay. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling a little less. We'll scan a planetary anomaly in three souls. Okay. Oh, there's so many like planetary anomaly stuff research. Okay. So th these are like crew things though, but I don't... They've got 50 colonists, they've got 44, and they've got 48. We've got zero. Oh, but they've got they've got the same amount of buildings as us, so I... I don't know, may maybe I've overthought a lot of what's going on. Maybe I'm just... I, I don't know, maybe... 
So this is outside, still outside of the drone commander's range. We've got enough metals there now. So this should build next. They'll be able to turn that right up, but I need to hook up the 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 power and the pipes. And I think just out of simplicity, it's going to be easier if we keep the power and the piping on the same. How much of this is left? Okay, so there's still quite a lot there. There's not very much in this. So, this is now transporting some of these. The two rockets are coming in, so that I'll land these over here. We do have drones over here. Not very many. We've only got four. But they should be able to deal with, like, the big bulk of this. We've got so much concrete down here, though. And apparently the solar panels have malfunctioned and we need, these need to be repaired. Oh, and uh, you see, this is the biggest issue is that I don't have what I need down here. So I need machine parts down here. Because otherwise all my power systems are going offline, aren't they? Well, that's irritating. Okay. This this game is very stressful. <laughs> I might have to start from scratch again, but I mean, at the same time, I don't want to. I want to keep going with this. Yeah. Okay. So there's now there's no concrete here. All right. This we want that to increase, and hopefully that will be enough. Right, let's get the power line out first. How do I build the same? There's got to be a shortcut to, like, build. <sighs> okay, well, let's just build it from there to hear them. Whatever. <laughs> Actually crazy kind of stressful <laughs> I'm not gonna lie because I I think that the main issue that I've got is the fact that I just don't know what I'm doing so like every every decision I'm making like turns out like three steps down the line to be the wrong decision <laughs> it's very stressful living like this Do you feel the UI is a bit clunky in places? The UI is awful, dude. Like, I think that's the main thing I'm really... I don't like about it. It's not even like any other Paradox games, right? Like, it feels like... Because, like, the UI in... Hearts of Iron, for instance, is really intuitive. And, like, this isn't that. <laughs> this isn't intuitive at all and electricity is apparently negative 85 so i have a feeling we're going to run out of electricity so we need to put down some more power that's going to be the next thing like copy and paste i can upgrade I 
don't know if there are any machine parts down here. There are machine parts. Oh no, that's not where I want it to be. <sighs> A large wind turbine. Maybe we should be building large wind turbines now as well. Instead of just littering the surface with turbines that will break. This game is full of decisions that have impact later on, I know. Should I open the Sterling Generator? You can open... Will produce 10 more power if opened. How do I open it? It doesn't say... Ah, it's up there, I see. Oh, but it leaves it vulnerable to dust contamination. I see. Top right icon. See, I, you see uh, little things like that. And then this needs to be repaired. Right, let's bring both of these down. Building's not working. Fuel refinery, subsurface heater, moisture vapor. Right, why is that not working? Because there's no water. Okay, well, it's just no water. There's no fuel to send these rockets back then. I don't, I, I, I don't know if I can play this. This this game is so... I think this this game might actually be beyond me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I, I, I'm aware electricity is low. I'm trying <laughs> to up the grid, honestly. I'm, I'm trying. We are 60 units of electricity short. And is this because both of our solar panels aren't working? It's probably worse than that. It's, it, this is actually really bad. Like, I think I've constructed too much stuff. We might have to build a large turbine or something. Ah! There we go. Place KSP, and you got this. Just a bit of, a bit of a hump in learning curve. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, yeah, but the thing is that the majority of the learning curve I did with Kerbal was when I was younger <laughs> and smarter. I'm not smart enough to be able to figure this out. And a lot of the learning curve with Kerbal was also helped to me by watching other streamers play this. Like, whereas this is. This this feels a lot more like cities, right? Um, I played cities, and um, I really struggled with the learning curve there. Like, I, I really struggled with the learning curve in cities because I just co I couldn't figure things out for myself. Like everything didn't feel very intuitive. Right? Okay, we've got transport. So let's load resources from here. We'll load all. And we're going to move them, that one, up to here to unload there, right? So then we can get all of that concrete that we've got down there up. Then we are going to use the next RC transport to bring materials from here. Yeah. Load. All. And we gotta bring them actually to he here. Right. 
These two that we've just purchased needs to go up here for a temporarily. Drone fleet. Yeah, I decided sod it. I wanted the transporters. <laughs> I was like, I really need transporters. That's what I need. I need some. I need a way to get like, because the problem that I that I think I'm having is the fact that I I haven't. I'm not. I've not got a good supply chain. Have you unlocked CO2 propulsion on the tech tree yet? I don't think so. No. Okay, so that's doing this. These came with drones as well, didn't they? Yes. And we can add more drones to it, and we do have quite a lot of drones. Alright, so this is now going to start loading all of the resources from here, and it's going to put them over there. I don't think that's a good idea, because... Potentially... Hmm... Like, potentially, I'm going to have this area down here, which will also need materials, not having materials. <sighs> I don't know, man. Like... Because now, because my drone, my, my, my dome isn't being built anymore because reasons. Like, we, we've got this power line. Well, the power line now works. I forgot that I hadn't built the pipes. Okay, so what other buildings weren't? working. So we still have a power de deficit, don't we? Power demand, 143. So we, we need to fix that power like, quick. What? Where are the drones? Why are the drones not building this? Like, work on this construction. That's, like, gonna be the most important. Okay. Now, what is the power like? So that only gave us 10? Is there a way to, like, turn this on? Yeah, so power production is 11. Rather, that's... What does this need? This needs maintenance. Is that metals that it needs? Okay, I think it's going to fix it. Hey, animal. So we're still at a deficit on power, and weirdly enough, the deficit is going up. <laughs> that only has a production, a power production of two. Yeah, we've got like a 50 de deficit, so we really need, we need power desperately, basically. That's what I'm seeing. So we need base production. I'm, I'm thinking we need more of these large wind turbines. Let's just build... Let's just build some more. And actually, I think I want to move some of these drones that are just standing here doing nothing. Like that one, this one. Oh, why can't I select two? Like, why is it not shift click to select both? Like, why can I not like... Is it control click shift? No? Is it alt? No, but Alt does move the camera. That's not useful. Look, there's all of these drones here. They they need... Sounds like a Factorio program. All these power struggle shortages. Like, everything is a problem right now. Like, I don't... I would definitely say Factorio feels a lot more... A lot more uh, intuitive than this does. This does not feel intuitive. Right, you can actually go down there as well, actually. You can... Actually, you know what? Let's put you here, and then you can start building this pipeline. Uh, 
I have no experience with cold areas yet. Um, yeah, so, so this is the heating thing that's drying out the cold areas, if you see. Maybe, maybe, actually, if I turn down that, the power consumption will go down. Oh, uh, yeah, the power consumption does go down. So let's turn this right the way back. And that will reduce the power consumption. I'll keep that one. Actually, you know what? For the time being, we don't need that on, do we? So let's just turn that off. Let's turn that off. There we go. Okay, so pow power power, is now okay. Power is now nominal again. Power is now nominal. Okay, okay, I fixed it. You could turn off fuel production at night, have heaters on, vice versa, during the day. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, C3 working time zones? No, I don't actually see that. Hold on. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we've got this. Change priority. I've got the change priority. I can see that. What's this? First shift. Second shift. Oh, I see. Okay. So we can just turn things off. I see. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That gives us an option, at least. Has this fixed now? Is this fixed? I think this is fixed, so we are actually producing fuel again. Right, we can close that up again just to save my sterling generator because we, we've we got more power now than what we actually need. But it does mean that I can supply the grid, right? So let's turn that on. We've got negative 20, so let's just turn that down two ticks. That should be zero. And then as we build up those solar... Yeah, for, for, for the time being, we'll, we'll keep this off. For the time being, we'll, we'll keep that building off. But once we've built this dome and we've got, like, habitation and stuff in there, then we can turn it back on. I'm still having issues, though, with this dome not being built. Like, I don't... I don't know what to do about this. The metals are there. The dome isn't being built because it's away from the... And command center. Get the RC over the center. Yeah, that's what I am doing. Uh, that actually only has four drones. So do we have, like, spare drone knocking around? There's three drones there. They're all spare. So let's put them in that. Oh, it's we've got another one as well. Let's go and put that one over here as well. Right, so that's turned off. Okay, now now I feel like we're starting to get somewhere. What what are you doing? Sector scanned. Right, so that I want to destroy. Um so now I've this is my third transport, right? So transportation. Let's do Load materials from here. Um, what do we want? We want just metals, don't we? And we want to unload them here. So then we get metals along this for this piping. In fact, we've got metals here, look, already. So why are you not building shit?
I have no idea what the DLC is doing. Me neither. I don't know either. I, I've got DLCs up my bottom and I don't understand what they are. <laughs> oh, we've got an RC transport here. Okay, so let's... Oh, that's got this. All right, let's take just the concrete. We'll take the con we'll take some of the concrete from here. So we'll load resources, just the concrete, and we'll move that up here. Okay. I I feel like I'm getting somewhere now. Like it feels like we're starting to make progress. Are these loading up fuels? No, so we need to unload the ma materials. They've still got metals in both. But all of these did drones are not doing anything. Why? Why? I don't understand why the drones are not doing anything. There's all of these metals to take out of the freaking ship. Are they, uh, can I not? Oh, I've got no storage depot for the metals. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, God, stupid fucking game. I swear to God, you've got to micromanage this game like crazy. So now they should all start taking those metals out. <sighs> yeah, but the, it's still got some of the resources I ordered from Earth. Right, now we've got electricity coming out of our ass. So now we can turn this up without any hassle, right? Yes, just. <laughs> I can just, I can just cope. Okay. What, that water extractor's working. Um, the piping's still not fixed. What is this? What is this doing? All? Wait, I know, I know what, what, I know why that, that's not doing that. It's because I keep clicking off it, that's why. Okay. Okay, right, so what's this one doing right now? So that one's doing that, this one's doing this. Really what I should do, I wish I could group these together so I can see which one's doing which. That one's only got four drones, so we can add some more drones onto this. But it's not doing anything anyway. Drone loads medium. <sighs> you do that as well? I feel like... Okay, so now we're finally getting to construct the freaking dome. I feel like I'm starting to get somewhere. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Just needs a bit of optimization. The game, the game needs a lot of optimization. It's a great game, great concept, but it it needs it's missing something. Like there's just something it's it's missing, right? So I can return that now to Earth. Uh the rocket is not yet refueled for its next voyage. Produce fuel refinery. Okay. So where are the where's the fuel on this? Waiting to refuel. I don't know where its fuel status is. Refueling, zero. That one's got 31, so that's taking all the fuel. That's irritating. Small step for humanity. Humanity hasn't made a step yet. Womble hasn't figured out how to do that yet. <laughs> Yeah, my electricity power's quite useful right now. So I'm thinking we need another fuel refinery. Aha! Uh -huh. No life support. Domes without life support. One. Colonists live in residential buildings within the domes. The basic residential building is called a living complex. So that's what I need to build next. I think. Also, I need to hook up the power and the Whatever. Actually, you know what? Let's let's hook up the power and the and the piping. 
Wait, let's do the pipes first, because the pipes can only go to, like, a certain place. Now let's do the power. Alright, so there we go. So now we now we we're, now we've got a simple pipe. Uh and right. Uh must be connected to power producer. Insufficient power. So we're gonna have an issue with power again. Um, also, life support means that we need more oxygen, right? Like, what? Oh, that consumes water as well. So we're one minus on oxygen uh, on water. That water production is two. Water production is two. Um, so number of grids four. Water demand is four, water production is three. Okay. So we need more water production. Okay, let's build some more water production. Life support. Moist evaporator, you need a prefab part. Okay. Water extractor. So if I put a water extractor right next to this one, is that going to... Do I, do I need a new water extractor? I think I need a new water place, but we don't have any water. This is the problem. Oh, th there's one here, but then it's going to freeze over again. <laughs> it's it's going to freeze over. Like, there's one right there. And it's kicking up dust, too. So... You're Europe, but what was your commander's background? Can't remember. You'll have to have a look on... Um, you'll have to have a look on YouTube and watch the VOD back. That's the only way, really, to know. I think we made a lot of um, decisions that I didn't understand. Births allowed. Use passengers for work. Use passengers for service. Accept colonists. Okay. Yeah, I, ge I generally can't remember. I, it was it was a while ago. Okay, so now now we need to build some life support stuff. So let's have a look at this. So they said living complex, right? Oh, that's really annoying. So I'm going to need multiple domes. Not enough power. I'm going to need multiple domes, aren't I? What did we say we wanted in this dome? This was only going to be like a basic dome. I definitely wanted a research lab. So that we could generate research points, right? Like that that was that was one of the musts. I think we can fit three of three of these in. Alright. So we definitely needed that. What was the other stuff that we wanted? We definitely need living quarters. But I'm thinking living complex is probably gonna be enough. Um mm. Do you need like we we needed a way of creating food, but I don't know where farm. So like have a farm in there. Looks like I was a doctor. That that might have been it actually. Yeah, I think I rem I made the doctor's joke right. We'll, we'll put the farm in. I don't know if that was a smart choice to make, but we'll f we'll figure it out. If we get it wrong, we get it wrong. If we could have a ranch, but then you need animals. I don't know if they are magic microdome. Uh, let's put a living complex in here. I get babies more often. <laughs> put 
Put a living complex there. Ah, stop it! Okay, so we've got a living complex. We've got a farm in this. What else did we want? We wanted a research lab. But I think we should only have one research lab, because by the looks of it, that's expensive on power. It's going to require five pieces of power. A diner, maybe? STEM reconstruction tech right at the start. No, I have no idea either. I think I just did whatever. <laughs> Grosser? I mean, like, a lot of this I don't think I need just yet. Now, question with the farm. Select crop. Do I need... Oh, the, no, the crops are already being made. No workers. Okay, so you do need workers for this to... I don't have any workers because we don't have humans. So we need to bring some colonists down. Well, well, you have to wait for the... For the ships to go back because we need to send the ships off and they haven't been refueled yet. So we're just waiting on the fuel fueling. So can I power this whole thing down to save power? first, because we don't need it right this second. Uh, inspect buildings. Building. Farm. Warning. Not enough workers. That's fair enough. Pythagoras 1. Good name. Average health. Births are forbidden when full. Use passages for work. Allow or forbid working in connected domes. No, that's fine. Use passages for services. Accepts colonists at the moment is correct. Okay. Inspect building. We've just done that. Inspect residence, which we don't have. Able to work. Unable to work. So we need to ship in colonists. That's what I'm looking at right now. Um, right. These drones. What do these drones need to do? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's get some more concrete. Let's get the concrete depot here. Because I, I have a feeling we're going to need more concrete in the coming days. So let's do storages. Storages. No. Ah, small electronics factory. That's what I wanted to build. I remember. We have a small electronics factory and a small machine parts factory. So the reason why I wanted to do that was so that we have some sort of generation of something. Metals Extractor. Building requires colonists and is too far from your domes. Needs a resource nearby. I see. So that's how that works.
Two from, uh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So we need another dome, basically. Basically what they're saying is we need another dome up here. Can we do a small dome? Like one of these um, micro domes, right? Right on the vista. And then we just connect it up with like a tube or something. But it, it would have to be like way up here. That's also cold. 100% more power in cold areas. This building requires power. Is this consuming 100% more power? I don't know. So yeah, I, I was I'm, I'm thinking. Also, uh, when you are ready, you can invite the first colonists to march. Launch a passenger rocket from Earth and land it near one of your domes. The, co the rocket will carry some food supplies, but you'll have to secure power, oxygen, water, and living space in advance. See, w we've got power, we've got oxygen, and we've got water, I think. <laughs> um, also, I want the... It's not the seeker. It must be the explorer to scan that anomaly, please. Nope. Scan. Thank you. But uh, we need to refuel the rockets anyway, because they need to go back to Earth. So this is now 40% refueled. Uh, no, sorry, 80% refueled, I should say. So it's 40 out of 50. Sector scanned. I don't think it's a good idea to move all of my materials. Maybe we could have a dome down here, actually, now I think about it. Like, just an independent dome that has... living quarters and uh, refinery, like underground metals and stuff. But, oh, you know, th this is too close to dust. That, that was what I was worried about. I think I, I wanted concrete, didn't did I, Do I want concrete? Like, how much concrete do we have? We don't have an income of concrete at the moment, so... Let's, um... Put another concrete maker down. Concrete extractor. It is cold terrain, which makes me think... It's gonna struggle. Now I'm going to struggle with power. I don't know if that's worth it, like turning up the heater so that the building doesn't consume more power because no cable connection. Building's not working. Farm. Small machine parts factory. And electronics factory. That's all because we don't have people. I think. <sighs> I'm still slightly stressed with this, but it, it's not as bad. I, I think I'm figuring bits of it out. Alright, we've got waste. 
material there. And this just needs to be hooked up to power, so let's just get a power cable. Has all of this finished construction? It did a while ago. Um, I'm not quite sure what else we can do. Let's just move everything up at, up here then. I'll just move it up there and then... That can be deleted. Anomaly found. It's not every day that we have the luxury to choose from what Mars has to offer. Okay, uh, the planet consistently reminds us of an old habit. Um, one hand and take from the other. The rover came across rocks rich in uranium clustered on top of a rich hematite deposit. Um, so I, I think I can choose whether it's going to be rare materials or metals. Rare metals or metals. Uh, so I think we should go uranium, right? Because we don't have any. Oh no, we do. We... Oh no, I think these are uh, these are these are what we found. Oh no, yeah, never mind. Strange pile of rocks. An odd-looking rock pile shape. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. First base is always going to be a learning and mistakes were made base until you get a feel for the ebb and flow of the game. I agree, Discant. It's just... I don't know. I, I, I like to have everything correct instantly, like straight away. And that's never the case, is it? <laughs> uh, electronics. So we don't have any electronics there. So I think I've got electronics here, though, right? Yes. I've got some electronics in this universal depot. So let's put the electronics there. And then also all of these should be increased now I think maybe maybe not drones can flatten terrain and build ramps up to mountains Okay. So, like, these rocks here can be flattened down. These rocks here can be flattened down. So how do I tell them to do that? I think terraforming. Global temperature. Global temperature is all at zero percent. Okay. Here we go. This is the flattening bit, not flat. Stylish. Select a flat surface to extend. So... That? Like that? It, it, is that going to work? I don't know if that's going to work. Maybe. We'll see. So we, we, we can flatten all of this out, which means that we can maybe... May, maybe I should have... Started with that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the there are 14 colonists that we can create here. We've got... I don't... So there's four workers in that, four work, three workers in that. Potentially. And... One, two, three, four, five, six. So... 13... And then, what, however many this is going to take, these, this dome. 
another three, so that's 16. So I've only got 14 workers that can work here, so maybe we should build another... Building It's either that or we are under for the time being and just leave this space free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have done some of those opportunities, but in order for me to do a lot of that, I think I need to launch the rockets, right, for the, for the global opportunities. Oh, I don't know where this is. Is it this? No. This one? No. This one? This one. So there's a lot of, like, of these... But then you also need, like, crew for, like, some of these, and RC, additional inventory, RC Safari. Yeah, so, so there's just, like, loads of random things. But I, I haven't, I haven't, I, I've, I've been to one of these places, and, like, I've, I've done one of these. I think it was, I don't know, I, it's probably gone. I think it was, like, something like this. I don't know. But uh, you need you need to send rockets out to these, right? So I can't do that. I need they, they need to refuel. But uh, yeah, actually, I I, th I, th I think that's probably what I'll do uh, with Kath Shaft One. But uh, they need to refuel. In fact, this one's about to get sent back to Earth like right away, so we can get colonists down. It does make me wonder whether I can can we build new rockets? Or are we only ever stuck with two rockets? Can, can, can we make more rockets later on down the line? You can buy them from Earth. Okay. Okay. So if we make money, then we can buy them. I see, I see, I see. What is it doing? Is it taking... It's got metals, so why were the metals in the dumping site? Oh, no, it's picking up the waste rock and it's taking it to the... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what it's doing. It's just doing something weird. I don't have any more surface metals, so we really need to get humans to start picking up metals. So I think the next thing we need to do here is build a, a dome up this way. Less concrete, more metal. But it consumes less. And then we can just, like, hook it up with, like, some... We can hook this one up with, like, a tunnel so they can get between the two, right? I don't... I don't know. There, 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 goes, there goes the rocket. At the cost of fuel and risk something hitting your base. Okay. See, we we need we need metals. So we we should start planning the the dome that will mine this metal thing here. But the problem is that it's also in the cold area. So before we start building anything, let's increase our power. Our power network. Has a bigger collection area, the barrel dome. 
Aha, I see. A barrel dome. Wait, what? Barrel dome. Ah. But the barrel, the barrel dome is huge, though. I don't know if we want... I put that there for the time being. I know it's outside of the drone commander. Yeah, we'll we'll do the barrel dome, and then, like, I'll 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 build that. That'll be the next thing that we build is the barrel dome. But we need to make sure we've got power because we're not gonna have enough power. Well, we can open up the sterling generator. I should Okay, so concrete is now that being produced here. We don't have Anyway, really of collecting metals. I kind of if we're going to have metals there, then really this RC controller needs to be doing the opposite of what it was doing. It needs to load resource from here. All. No. It needs to load resource from here. Oh. I really wish you could, like, say, I only want X amount of resources here at any time. I don't want you to take all of the resources. Or, I really wish you could say, oh, I would like you to take concrete and metals, but leave the polymers, leave everything else up there. I really wish you could do that, but you can't. It's driving me in... Well, at least I don't know how, how that works. If you can do it. I don't know, man. Because we're gonna need materials down here for the concrete and machine parts, right? Oh, we've got another building not working. Research lab farm. Okay, oh, that's fine. Noting maintenance materials. Yeah, I know, right? Like th this is this is what I'm really struggling with is like this maintenance thing that we've got going on. Like all of this needs maintenance now, and all of my materials are way all the fuck over there. In fact, this drone hub is about to deteriorate. In fact, it has deteriorated. So I just have to do everything manually, and I really don't like that. It's really... Like, I can load resource. Let's load resource, and then I can pick, like, what I'm loading. But then it, it picks up all of the electronics. It doesn't just like say, oh, I want to pick up one piece of electronics and take it down there so that this can be done. Like, it... <sighs> and I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm getting lost on what I need to be doing now. Because because I purchased these RC seekers thinking, oh, this is great. Because now I've got like loads of RC seekers, they can all do what I want. And now they're just all standing idle and they're not doing anything. You can you can group select drones and tell them to do it. How do I do that though? Because like, like I I click one. Like the only way I can do that is by selecting these three, right? I can't like shift click these. <sighs> drones cycle drone controllers. So you can just like go between all your different drone controllers, I guess. Tourists, homes, jobs, waste rock. I feel like I feel like I've spread things out too far. I, I think that's the mistake I've done. Like I, I've tried to spread things out way too soon. 
So like all of my shit's happening over here and then I've got stuff happening down here and it's just too far apart from each other and I'm just gonna struggle. Draw a box and tell them to load an item. Then unload it only... Yeah, but then... I it's very micromanagey, and I don't like micromanaging this sort of thing. It should just do it automatic. Once I set something up, it should just do it automatically. I don't want, I don't want to have to micromanage and worry because there's way too much going on for me to be able to figure out what's going, like how Sector how it can scared. work, right? There's way too much going on. There's all these drones that just aren't doing anything. I kind of wish I could just like say, click this unit and say, right, I want. 10 of these units to go down here and then it automatically assigns it to drones or whatever and then just goes out and does it but it's very i'm not gonna lie like this game is very clunky i i'm just not i'm not getting it i'm really genuinely not understanding the game i, I don't I, I always have this problem with this sort of game as well. Like, I just, I, I, it's so overwhelming. Like, I'm just feeling so overwhelmed by everything that's going on. I can't focus on, like, one thing to learn in order to be able to progress further. I don't know what the next step is. And then, like, I know what the next step is now. Like, I know that I need to get colonists down onto Mars. I need to put the this in here. But, like, I... I can't do it because I'm being bottlenecked by, like, so many different things and nothing, like, we've got all these drones and they're just useless. I need the tech for it. Yeah, but I can't get the tech without getting the people down here. I can't get the people down here without getting the drones in the right place and I can't get that in the right place without having the power and I can't do that without... So, so like, later on, whatever, I... I I don't know. It's like... It feels... I'm not getting any satisfaction out of the game at the moment. And I realize, I realize it, like, the whole point in this sort of a game is that you're supposed to take your time and you get the satisfaction from the time that you put in. But I just, I'm not getting the satisfaction at the moment. Like, it, I'm struggling to see where this satisfaction is going to come from. I just, I don't quite see the point at the moment. I don't know. I don't know. I'm struggling with it. Because <laughs> well, right now, this is a waiting game. Like, I'm waiting for the rocket ship to get back to Earth so I can bring the colonists. And then when I bring the colonists, I'm going to have to land the colonists over here. But ideally, I want this all built before the colonists come. So now I'm like having this internal debate on what I need to do. I've got all these drones just doing nothing, but there's so much that needs doing. It's just... It's, there's a lot going on. Yeah, I'm going to need to bring supplies from Earth, which is... But I can't do because b both of my rockets are kind of like... stuck. <laughs> I feel like- I feel like I need to start over now that I've got like the basics down because I feel like I've- everything I've done here is wrong. Everything just feels don't like everything I've done is wrong. It's not gonna work. And I'm I'm just going down a direction that the the further I progress, it's just it's just gonna be m more wrong. And I'm just gonna keep doing wrong stuff. And it feels like I need to start over now. And this is another issue I have with these sort of games is the fact that I always feel like that. I always feel like everything I do. I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> so, I don't know. And I, I guess the answer for this is to watch, like, a tutorial on it. But then I feel like I'm not playing the game then. I'm, I'm playing the game the way someone else is telling me to play the game. Someone smarter than me. 
<laughs> I don't know. It It's a weird train of thought. Like, it, it's constant knock-on effects. And th this was the issue that I always had with Factorio, was that... Because we played a lot of that game. But I always felt like I was always just doing... Using someone else's tutorial. Like, I wasn't playing the game myself. And I struggled to do that. Like, I struggled to figure this stuff out with new games, like anything with like a steep learning curve like this, I just get overwhelmed by information and just give up. And I kind of don't want to do that because I want the satisfaction of being able to figure this out myself. But at the same, yeah, you see, you see now we've got wind turbines which are malfunctioning over here. Um, which means that they need maintenance. Uh, and they, that one needs an electronical and electronics, and this one needs metal machine parts. <sighs> it's really zapped the power, and the separate bases is hitting the drone coordination. Yeah, I'm thinking I want to start from scratch as well. Yeah, I yeah exactly. Like I, it's not that I haven't learnt from this because I have learnt. I've learnt not to separate the base up too much early on like I, I i'm i'm understanding the supply issues it's just that i i feel like i've kind of hit a dead end with this so i think i th i the way i'm seeing it is it's kind of like rim world right when i initially started playing rim world the first couple of saves weren't enjoyable because i didn't understand what was going on and it took me a while to really get into it to really understand how to play the game and how to micromanage the game and, like, play it correctly. And I feel like this is that sort of game. I've got to spend time understanding it and designing it and, like, understanding what's going on. Which, I it, it's time that I just don't have at the moment. And that, that's another issue that I'm having. Is that I just don't have the time to put into this. Which sucks. This was the problem that I had with Dyson Sphere as well, when I played that. Like, I just didn't have the time to put into it. And I get so hung up on something, like, I'm thinking about how, how I can do something. I'm thinking about it, and then I'm just not doing it. I'm just thinking instead of doing. I'm not, like, learning. So yeah, I, I think I'm gonna le abandon this save, because I don't think I can get this save to work. I think that's the smart thing to do. So I'm just going to be pulling on a thread. Um, I fundamentally set up a base that is going to fail. I know it's going to fail. So now I need to start from scratch, I think. I think that's the only way. I can restart map. We could re Can we restart the entire map? Maybe we can start right from the beginning. Right, let's save game first. <laughs> Let's save game. The bad start is going to make it an uphill struggle. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. Because we, we had a really bad starting area down here. There's no water down there, wasn't there? Wasn't there? That, that was like one of the main problems was there was no water and that was why we wanted to move up here was because there was water and stuff up here but we'd already built our power supply down here and you've got to maintain that i think it was the maintenance of the power supply that has been the problem like our power grid because my original i like the original idea behind it is not too bad because if you think about it this is what i want to do i want I wanted a power area, I wanted a living space area, and I wanted a workspace area, right? And then all of it was connected. But what I didn't understand was that the drones will not automatically go between the two. You've got to micromanage everything early game, so you just can't do it that way. So you've kind of got to do a factorial level of have your initial base and then expand and then scrap the initial base kind of thing and rebuild as you go. I think. I don't know. I don't know. 
I, I, I think we should quit out of this for now. I don't want to play this anymore because I, I'm getting a little bit frustrated with it, if that makes sense. Sorry, I just realized I've... I should be on that. I should have transitioned over my bet. Um, let's just... Uh, let's just put a hold on that for the time being. Uh, whoops. You guys don't want to see that. Um... I'm only a little ahead of me in the game. Yeah, I know, right? Like, but I... I think it's also my temperament as well. I think I probably would have persevered with that if I'd have played the next day. This is, a, this is another thing. The fact that I've left it now 13 days since I last played that, I, I'm relearning everything for a second time, you know what I mean? Which puts me behind. Like, really, if you start one of these games like Surviving Mars or RimWorld or anything like that, you want to be playing it, like, the next day and then 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 you're going to learn things a lot faster. So, um, that'll be it for... My bitrate is going crazy at the moment. So that'll be it for Surviving Mars, at least for the time being. Um, I did enjoy it. Like, I, I, know, I know I was stressed through a lot of that, but I, I have enjoyed the game. I think it's a good game. It's just that my brain isn't, isn't exactly the best. I might, I might come back to that game at some point. I think... This this game is going to be like RimWorld, I think. I think I'm going to have to play it a bunch off stream and then come back to it. Like, learn it, learn the game off stream. This is what I do. I do this a lot. I need, like, in order for me to stream games and enjoy streaming them, I can't be learning how to play this game on stream. I need to, like with this sort of a game, I need to learn how to play the game off stream, put the time in off stream to understand what's going on, and then build something on stream. That I think that that's just how I gonna, I'm going to have to do Surviving Mars. It's kind of like how I play RimWorld, right? Like I've learned how to play RimWorld off stream because I've played it off stream a lot. Um... Kind of like Factorio as well. Although I, I was never really that good with Factorio, I don't think. Again, Factorio was another one where I got overwhelmed with the information. And then just lost interest because I got overwhelmed. Anyway, um, that's it for today with um, Surviving Mars.